Hello there, a lot has changed in a week. I have just a handful of little babies left to feed. And they're all grown up and uh, some have already moved away to their new homes and most of them are eating on their own now. But I do have a couple that need to be hand fed, so let's get started. Okay, so first I have the little gray cockatiel that we've, we've been hand feeding. His daddy is a gray white faced cockatiel and his mother is just a normal gray cockatiel. These, he, he is normal gray split to white face and what that means normal gray is he's the color God made cockatiels when they were flying around wild in Australia. And being split to White face means that he carries the genes for the recessive mutation. White face, you got your toenails tangled up, bud. No. But there he is. And I know that this is a guy because if you can lift up his wings, do you see the spots up high on the feathers here? They yeah, don't they kind come. Of look like stripes. There are no stripy spots down here low on the wings. And I know that's not a very good explanation, but that is the explanation that I have. But this is a little boy cockatiel, and he is available if you live in the Pell City, Birmingham, uh, Anniston, Gadsden, what is it, Talladega, Childersburg kind of areas, then, uh, you know, are willing to come to Pell City, we can get this little bird to you. And we have a, uh, a baby ringnet that we're going to feed. So Jeremiah's going to get that out right now. Uh, don't yes. jump around too much. I yeah, there it's you go. Fun. I Jumping know it's fun. fun. Here. here comes the little baby ringnet. We're going to put him down. They can stay out here uh, together for a minute. Go. This is that last baby ringneck of the whole year. And it's a little violet ringneck, not violent, but violet because he's purple. He's violent. Now his daddy is purple. I'm actually hoping this is a girl. Her, so I'm going to say her. Her daddy is the violet, and he, you're wild. Here, Jeremiah. Take that one. Take the cock with that one. I promise, oh, baby, baby, baby. I promise when that cockatiel is fully weaned, they do not make that noise. This this little girl's daddy is violet, and the mother is a cinnamon blue. Just beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to keep this one one way or another. I have sent off a DNA sample. Uh, I've been checking all day. It is still pending with the uh, DNA company, uh, Animal Genetics. Uh, formerly known as Avian Biotech. Here, baby. Here. You want the food? You want the food? Come on. Look at that. You do want the food. What a good little baby you are. Aw. So, I'm wanting this to be a girl so I can put it with one of the blue Paladino babies that I have. So I can raise more of the violet pallids. Those are just beautiful little birds. So let's all uh, get the little parakeets out, Jeremiah, and show the show our friends the little parakeets. I have to put one. Okay, so here are the two little parakeets that we've been been hand feeding. And as you no, can that's see, one. as you can see, they fly. Now these guys are winged. These guys are winged. They are eating on their own. You can see this guy's. His little chest all puffed up there. That is full of pellets and vegetables and seeds and other yummy stuff. Uh oh, there he is. We uh, love these little guys. We're going to be hand feeding more and more of these because they just make wonderful little pets and people enjoy them and like them. And so Jeremiah is chasing down that other one uh, out from a gecko cage. He, no, it's behind the guy. He dive he dive bombed the gecko and fell behind the cage. That's not a big deal though. What so Well, he's okay. Yeah, don't Uh-oh, there he goes. Okay, so since this is getting to be a hassle and since these two are both gonna be pets, I'm gonna go ahead and trim their wings. Hey okay, there. Once you're done with that one, I'm gonna 
hand this one to you. Yeah. I have trimmed wings before. This is not a hair uh, a haircut. Yeah, this is a how cut. This is not a how to tutorial. Uh oh, you can't do that anymore, Bubba. That, that, they did run it. It's okay. for me. Okay, we got that one put away. So I'm going to trim this one's yeah, wings. Let me put that away. And like I said, this is not a how to. There are other videos about that. And it doesn't hurt them. It doesn't hurt them. It's just like clipping your fingernails or a getting a haircut or cutting your ear off. <laughs> what? Was the last one done? There's that. that and we're all the, done. What was the last one you said? We're all done. Isn't he beautiful? We love this little guy. 